Now after cutting the pieces for the ends, you may as well look around to see if you can find what will work for the sides, the left and right. Now those measurements are 6 by 20, so the 20 is still the same. However, in this case we want to add an inch for our rough size. For the ends, 20 is the rough size, so 19 would work, but we're cutting 20, and we're going to CNC those out. So I rummaged around and happened to find boards that were actually six inches, a little more than six inches wide. If you don't find any this wide, just again, glue them together, but set it to 21 and go ahead and cut whatever pieces you need, trying not to waste a lot of wood. For your two side pieces that we cut, I happened to find some that were wide enough. We're going to cut them to six inches wide and then cut them down to 20 inches long on the chop saw behind me. Remember to always chop the end off first. And take your time, because as you're cutting the end, the board tends to move away from the blade. Then slide it down to your stop, cut off the other end. Now we come to the planer. Now we need to plane these things down to 5 eighths of an inch. Well, I'm going to go a little bit heavy on that so that I can sand it down to size so we can sand it through the white belt. Now, what does that mean? We set it to 14 sixteenths normally. That's 7 eighths. So 14 sixteenths, and we're going down to 10 sixteenths. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. That's five passes. Now, I'm only going to go about four and a half passes, maybe just four passes, to get it close to what I need. Then on the wide belt sander, take it down the rest of the way to 0.625. That's 5 eighths. Our next step is to sand them down to 0.625. So I'm at 0.665 right now, and that may vary depending on where you are in the planer. But I need to sand both sides until that reads exactly 0.625, and that is 5 eighths of an inch. <laughs> 